American missiles lighting up the night sky over Yemen Thursday. The U.S. and its allies striking more than 60 Houthi rebel targets there. This is an international problem that required an international response. The Houthis are one of many groups financially supported by Iran as they launch attacks against the West. Iran also backs Hamas and Hezbollah in their fight against Israel, sparking fears a wider regional conflict will undoubtedly erupt. I think this is a very dangerous situation and the likelihood that the war is going to escalate beyond the territory of Gaza and beyond Israel versus Hamas is virtually certain. Since October 17th, there have been at least 130 attacks on U.S. bases in the Middle East, injuring more than 60 U.S. troops. This is a proxy war that the Americans are fighting and the Israelis are fighting against Iran. And the question is how much closer are those principal adversaries going to be? Because the Iranians don't want a direct fight against the Americans. And yet if their proxies start getting blown up in large, large numbers, then the likelihood that the Iranians get directly involved goes way up. The Houthis vowing retaliation for Thursday strikes in Yemen. Critics in Washington, like Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna, worry America's latest military action will only cause the situation to deteriorate further. I think that this has uh, increased the risk of uh, retaliation against our embassies, of retaliation against our troops. The Pentagon argues they had to act. No one wants to see a wider regional conflict, uh, but again, we also cannot allow for this kind of dangerous reckless and illegal behavior to continue. Threat of a wider regional war could entangle the 45,000 U.S. troops stationed in the region. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.